investigators currently going through documents and body cam footage to try to determine exactly what happened before, during, and after the teen was shot. A full autopsy, officer interviews, and body camera video will all be key in the investigation into the shooting death of a 17-year-old by police in Guilford. The initial report that those officers uh, received was from the 911 caller that said, uh, that uh, young man was armed inside the home. The attorney general's office says two officers responded to the home on Varney Point Road Sunday night. When officers arrived, they say Misha Fay was armed with a knife. During the encounter, one officer discharged a stun gun. The other officer fired a gun, killing Fay. We do have that footage, and so we're in the process of reviewing that right now. The AG's office says the officers, along with others in the home, were not hurt. Now, those officers are on paid administrative leave, and they will be interviewed about what unfolded. After that, I anticipate in a couple of weeks, um, hopefully within maybe one week, but it may be a couple of weeks, once those interviews are completed, we'll be able to disclose the identity of the officers. Investigators will also take a close look at the full autopsy report once it comes in. That could take months. Now, it's unclear exactly what prompted that initial 911 call, but a review of the Guilford police log indicates it was for a mental health issue. Reporting live outside the Attorney General's office in Concord, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.